What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Doom back at it with another movie review. <clears throat> and today we are will be reviewing Ambulance. Brand new film by Malcolm Bay has been in theaters probably about two weeks now. Um we're going to just uh, uh, hop right into it. Good fucking action movie. Good fucking action movie, dude. Um, we st- uh, I'm going to give some background of characters. So it's like this reti- uh, retired vet. I don't know if he's retired. He might be. Yeah, I think, yeah, re- I think, I would think he's retired. But he's a veteran. And um, he's trying to get some money to get his wife the surgery she needs. I forget what type of surgery it is, but... They show him. They started off. They show him calling on the phone, calling on the phone, being put on hold. Finally gets through to a person because you know as everything's automated nowadays. Finally gets through to a person, and she's like, oh, "I'm sorry, sir, my lunch break." And then fucking hangs up. And it's like it's some bullshit. You know, going through some bullshit, right? And um, is he has this brother played by um Jake Gyllenhaal and other dudes that. What is his name, bro? Play, play Black Manta. You play Candyman. Starts with a Y. I cannot say his name. But, yeah. So, they're like... His family, like... Jay Gyllenhaal's family, like, took him in, right? And it's like... Their brothers and shit like that. Pretty much been together since they were... Yay high, you know? And uh, he has this whole, like... Uh, thing he got going on... Um, Illegal shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know shit he ain't supposed to be doing. He got his own business, businesses on the side and shit like that. He goes to his brother and shit. And he's like, trying to get some money and shit. They have this little thing, you know. And he convinces, he convinces him, Jake Gyllenhaal's character convinces him to, like, do another job with him. Because, you know, he was trying to leave that life behind and all that shit. Uh, trying to like, convince him to do a job. He said, man, all I need is a driver. All I need is a driver. All I need is a driver. And but before I go any further, bro, both of their performances so fucking good. Her performance, I mean, my bad. Uh, Jake Gyllenhaal's performance. What is this dude's name? Yah, Yah, Abdul Mateen. Yeah, there you go. His performance. He played Black Manta and Aquaman, Candyman, all that shit. Good actor. Good actor, bro. Um, and the the ambulance driver. I forgot her name. Or, or the paramedic. I, I she's she's been in something though. I can't I can't think of her name at all, at all. But uh, yeah, all three of their performances, amazing, bro. Story, you know, story does a good job of like it's gonna go one way, and you don't see you don't see an out for them, but they make it out, and it keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going, da 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 da, until there is no there is no skate. They finally get cornered and shit. And it's like both of them got decisions to make. And um, Jake Gyllenhaal, he's like his character. He's fighting. I forget, I forget his real his real name in the movie. He's fighting with um some demons. He's wrestling with some demons because apparently their dad was like a ruthless criminal. Like you know what I'm saying? Like don't give a fuck about nobody. Uh, type shit. The movie was the movie was really well balanced. Uh, as far as like giving all the characters their char- their development. Fair share of screen time, all that shit, bro. Um, Jake Gyllenhaal's character, he, he, you kind of see him becoming more and more unhinged because the whole thing, whole thing, um, throughout the movie is like he's become, oh, excuse me, he's becoming more like his father, like his brother's, like just like dad, you know. You, you acting like him, you know what I'm saying, blah, blah, blah. And, he, and, and he's, like, reassuring him. He's like, he's like, I'm not like that, blah, 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 blah. And then we see, I'm not sure, trying to spoil everything in the movie. I think the best part of the movie is, like, probably 20 minutes before, 20, 30 to 20 minutes before the end, bro. This whole fucking action sequence uh, kicks off, and it's amazing. But Michael Bay, you know, Michael Bay does this, did this film. And if you, you know Michael Bay, you know him from, you probably mostly know him for the uh, Transformers movies, right? And it's like all shit blowing up everywhere, all these sparks. You know, y'all y'all know his signature spark in it, spark shit, bro. You 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 know you know what I'm talking about. He's like all these sparks everywhere, shit blowing up everywhere. It's like Transformers. 
that's the type of movie is like, okay, I I can understand why it needs to be a little bit toned down. Oh my god, I'm so fucking like yawning everywhere. But yeah, it's like it's over the top in Transformers. Here, I feel like it was necessary. Even it, and it was it was toned down. It was like a lot of stuff happening. It was like okay, I expect like an explosion. It was like it wasn't an explosion and it didn't need to be an explosion. So it's like all that like wacky. The wackiness of, of those of the explosions and the effects is kind of toned down in here, more realistic, and it does it does the movie justice. It does, it really does does do the movie justice. This is one of the, this is one of like the better movies outside of a superhero film that I've seen in the last year. Like it's one of it's one of the better movies, bro. Um, but yeah, uh, the like I said, all the characters get development. The love is shared all the way around, bro. This is one scene at the end, bro. Jake Gyllenhaal, he finally his character he finally snaps, bro, because he's like, he, his whole thing was like he always finds another way out. He always gonna find a way out. You know what I'm talking talking about? Like he's ne- he's never gonna be he's never, never gonna get caught. So he's fine. He's at the end of the rope. His uh, I'm, I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna say too much, but I will say this this scene right before he goes out of the ambulance to like confront the police, he's literally he grabs the paramedic that they. T- taking hostage who ambulance they stole and he's like uh he's like he gets the gun i th- think he points it at her head he, but he grabs her he grabs her i, I can't remember the scene fully but he grabs her and he's like this is what's gonna happen i'm gonna open this door and i'm gonna blow your brains out on live television i was like yo jake are you good my boy that right there was like <laughs> i literally said in the theater like i was like god damn bro like this nigga, he, he, he snapped, bro. He snapped, bro, and you and you get it, cause it's like, nigga ain't got, he ain't got nothing to live for. He goes out the door. They going they gonna light his ass up, bro. Like, or if, if they don't, he's they gonna throw him in prison for the rest of his life. The nigga ain't getting out. Then he, he ain't no way out. So he's like, okay, fuck it, bro. I might as well take take you with me. Fuck it. I might as well scar some people. You know what I'm saying? Like it's crazy that his mind went that way. In that scene, that shit was that shit was amazing though. Um... I would love, I love I'm loving movies like this more and more. This guy, if y'all seen Twenty One Bridges uh, with uh, Chadwick Boseman a couple years ago, Fire. This guy this gave me Twenty One Bridges vibes. Like all movies like that, they're just like good action movies with uh, and, and, and with an easy story that just flows naturally, bro. Fire, bro. Fire every time, bro. You can't miss with that. But yeah, man. Um, if y'all seen it, if y'all haven't seen it, go check it out. If you're still in y'all theaters. But yeah, man. Um. I'm going to catch y'all next time. I'm out. Peace.